What's up guys, Brad here from Piney Grove and today I was backing up to the trailer here in our pole barn and I remembered that I had it locked up so I went to go get the key and I thought, you know what, there's a lot of viewers out there and a lot of people that own trailers and have equipment that probably are interested in this lock here that I found. Now right off the bat I'm going to tell you we're not sponsored. Uh, we bought these locks. They've been very effective and I want to share a story with why we went to these locks on our trailers. So about five years ago before we bought Piney Grove we live on the coast so we did a lot of boating and we used to keep the boat parked in front of our house. We live in a fairly secure neighborhood so we didn't bother to lock our boat or our boat trailer. To treat myself one year, I decided to buy a brand new aluminum trailer and they're very expensive boat trailers that are made out of aluminum. I guess any trailers that are made out of aluminum are expensive. So we contracted with a company, we got a trailer specially built for our boat and we took it there and they transferred the boat off the old trailer onto the new trailer and I brought it home. Later that week, when I was going to work and open up my garage door, my boat wasn't there. And immediately I thought, well, the boat has been at the trailer place. You know, you're foggy in the morning when you're going to work and just kind of recall where your boat might be because it's not in front of you where, where you, you thought you left it. I, I started thinking and I was like, no, I, I brought that boat home earlier this week with my new trailer. Never had been in the water, nothing. It had literally come from the manufacturer six miles away to my house. So I thought about it and I went inside to, to say something to Deb like, hey, the boat and the trailer isn't here. Again, it wasn't clicking and that's when it dawned on me. We had been robbed. Someone had backed into our driveway in the middle of the night, hooked to our boat trailer with our boat on it and they were gone. Now the rest of that story is we actually found the boat a few days later. They had stripped the motor off of it. It had a four stroke 40 horsepower Yamaha motor worth about $10,000. They had stolen that. They had stolen the fuel tank and the center console and anything they could take off of the boat. And then they drilled holes in the boat. I guess they were gonna sink it, but it's an unsinkable boat, so that didn't work out for them. So anyway, I guess they got scared. They went into the woods, hooked to a tree, and pulled it off the trailer and left it in the woods. And uh, some neighbors in that area called the cops and we went and picked the boat up and it was damaged and, and we got it repaired, but we never saw the motor again and we never saw any of the other parts they stole. For some reason, they didn't cut the trailer up into scrap and sell the aluminum and we, they actually took the trailer from where the boat was dumped in the woods like eight miles away and came back towards our house and like six streets away left the trailer at a house that was um, for rent but wasn't currently being rented. So the police called me and uh, we went and got my trailer. So we ended up getting the boat back and the trailer back and we found a used engine. We put it all back together and we did have some more boating times after that, but it never was the same because once uh, you've been violated like that, it just, it just, it feels different after that. But it was definitely a lesson learned for us that no matter how safe you think your place is, you need to lock your stuff up. I guess all stuff, but especially stuff that's valuable, that's uh, easy to tow away, where folks can come in and grab it and go quickly. So because of that incident, we did what all people do. We went to Google and we started searching for best trailer lock. And that's how we found this proven industry lock. And I'm gonna show you how it works and how strong and beefy it is. And because all locks can be defeated, um, if nothing else, this is really gonna slow down a thief and maybe make him make more noise than he wanted to make and hopefully secure your equipment. So let's come in close and look at this lock. The first thing we're gonna do is unlock this first basic lock right here. Now, this lock is a really good deterrent. It doesn't allow this to flip up in order for them to get the ball under here and steal your trailer. But for this system that we use now, it is just kind of the first line of defense. So we take that off and then you come from the bottom and you undo this lock and you pull this puck out. So here's the puck. But what that key does is it pushes that pin up in there and I'll show you where that pin goes. But then you pull this part off and of course there's your hitch. And then this is sitting inside of your hitch. So you can see that has a little, almost like a hitch ball in it that goes there and that holds it in place. And again, you don't need that lock here, but we use it. And then there's a tab here that lines up with a tab in there. So we'll put it in here and show you how it goes. So it goes in like that. 
So you have these two tabs together, and then you have this puck lock, and that little channel right there goes over top of those tabs, and then that pin pushes in there, and then it makes it really hard to defeat it. You can imagine that in order to get this puck off, you somehow would have to defeat this, but then you're still not getting behind this puck, and it just would take a lot of grinding and cutting and maybe even a torch to get this off. They actually sell this lock on Amazon. It's about $275. We'll leave a link down below. It doesn't cost you anything more to use our Amazon link. But the way you put this lock on is you hold it in place with your trailer lever right here, and then you slide this over top until these tabs line up. You put the puck in over top of the two tabs, and then you push your key up to make sure that it goes all the way in. That's the one part I don't like about this lock is that you gotta get up underneath there to do that. You pull your key out and then you make sure everything is good and attached in there. Make sure that puck doesn't come out. And now you're probably as secure as you'll ever be from someone stealing your trailer. This trailer has a two inch ball and that's what this fits, but Proven Industries also makes the same type of lock for your bigger utility trailers like the ones you use to pull your tractor around. So let's go over and show you that one. So the concept is exactly the same. You have the puck in the front, and then you also have that piece that your trailer hit that goes up into your trailer hitch, and then this little lever holds in place. So it works in the exact same way, except this one's just bigger. It's got more metal in it, and of course it's gonna cost a little more. As we mentioned in the beginning of this video, we are not sponsored by Proven Industries, but when we find a product that works and that we have faith in, we like to share it with our viewers. But that's all we've got for today's video, so if you liked it, please click that like button. But otherwise, until next time, y'all take care out there, and remember, life's short, tractor hard.